things that can get people trouble when they're tuning an engine to run on E85 is cold starts. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about cold start tuning with E85. So right off the bat, of course, your main VE table needs to be tuned properly. If it's off, then everything else is just kind of a band-aid trying to fix something to cover up another problem. So I've made a video previously about VE tuning that I can link, but so I won't talk too much about that other than making sure that that has to be well tuned before we move on to other things. So also to consider in colder temperatures, you're going to need to target a higher idle speed. Now, how much is up to you, or the more, the higher the idle speed, the more it's going to help. But you don't want to get too carried away. But you do need to know that at colder temps, you need to target a little bit higher idle speed. And then as the engine warms up, you can have that idle speed slow down. Then, uh, of course, base running airflow. In colder temps, you're going to need more airflow than you do in warmer temps. So you may have tuned some of that and kind of scaled it from what you've tested previously. But if you haven't really tested your idle airflow in colder temps, you may need to revisit that also. So the main, if all that's correct and we've got a, a good base tune on the VE table and the idle airflow, then you can start looking at your primary cranking VE table. So from here you may need to adjust, you're going to need more fuel in colder temps at startup and during cranking. So some of these slower RPMs while the motor is just cranking with the key, you may need more fuel there to help get the engine started. Um, another thing to look at would be um, if we go into fuel, open loop, EQ ratio. Now, a 1.0 will target stoich. So at any given temperature, at regular running temperatures, you're targeting stoich, but you may need to increase these numbers at lower temps in your idle areas to add more additional fuel as well so that you can run the proper AFR at colder temperatures as the engine's warming up. Another area we can look at when talking about cold start tuning is the cranking fuel. So under fuel in general we can go over here and look at cranking fuel. Now I found if everything else with the, the cranking VE, the regular primary VE table, the open loop, and the airflow and target idle speed, the things I've already mentioned. If all that's good, a lot of times you don't have to mess with this. But this is another thing to look at on the cranking fuel, uh, the prime pulse mass. So there, this is just another area that I haven't really needed to mess with, but it is something else you can look at when you're really fine-tuning those cold starts.